Hi guys, I want to give you some tips about how to deal with Desire to Learn, our learning management system. So first tip is, yes, you can get there by accessing the learning management system through my.lonestar.edu, but sometimes that portal is down, and if that's ever down, you can always open up a browser and go directly to this shortcut, which is tiny, T-I-N-Y-U-R-L.com slash Lone Star D2L. So tinyurl.com slash Lone Star D2L takes you to a login window. So go ahead and just log right in uh, to this screen right here, and that'll take you right into Desire to Learn. So you'd be surprised at how many times my Lone Star is down. So once you're in the learning management system and you've done your student orientation, make sure you do that uh, uh, as soon as possible. Um, you can see on the left-hand side a list of my courses over here. That's an important place. The calendar is also an important place. And there's also this news section, which is an important place too. Um, they're more important actually once you enter a course. But before we do that, I just want to show you a couple of things up top on this little mini bar way here at the top of the screen. So if you go to the select a course list and you find the French course that you're enrolled in this semester and click on the little uh, pin right here, you can pin the course to where it's the top one and it'll always be at the top of the list. So you don't have to worry about finding it in my courses. You just go up there and click on the course and it'll take you right to the course. Another cool thing about the mini bar up here, if you go to your name, and click on notifications right here. Uh, then you can go down to mobile number and register your mobile number right here and sign up for notifications. Those are awesome because they're very useful if uh, I'm adding new content to the course or if I have a new news announcement or something new is graded or something new is due in two days, etc. You can get a text message, an SMS um, uh, on your phone that way. Students typically find uh, uh, that they use their phones a lot more than they use email. But uh, feel free to sign up for uh, email as well. Uh, I just recommend the text message sign up. Anyway, once you've signed up for that, you go to the course. Uh, um, I pinned it, right? So I'm going to go up here and click on the course, and that takes me right to the course over here. That's an introductory message that I've already made for you right there in the news section. In the calendar section, you can see some upcoming things that are due. There's a list of them right there. I try to list as many things as the, in the calendar as possible just to kind of make it easier for you. But you'll find that in Desire to Learn, there, there's usually more than one way to get to things, all right? I encourage you to go to content. Click on content always to access the course. It's kind of the front into the store, right? So when you click on content, you can see on the left-hand side this little preview version of the course content. There's a whole layout uh, of the course right there. And of course, you start a table of contents and then uh, getting started. See what I'm doing? I'm clicking on these modules right here. When you click on a module, sometimes it opens up sub-modules. So try to go as deep as possible into these modules and sub-modules so you can get to the actual content. Sometimes when you click on things uh, like this, for example, where it says your availability introductions, you don't see the instructions until you actually go into the sub-module. See, there's some specific instructions uh, right there. So uh, uh, go ahead and click your way through uh, the content all the way through the chapitre preliminaire for week one. So you have all this stuff to do, the getting started, you have intro to course, you have new online learners, you have new language learners, you have tech help, you have useful course materials, and you have the chapitre preliminaire bienvenue. So those are the things that you need to knock out for the first week. And these are all either links or video files, uh, uh, etc. So make sure you look at them and see which ones are due, which ones you have to do, decide which ones you don't want to do, uh, because some of them are optional. But uh, uh, usually they're all uh, required. If there's a due date, that typically means that it's uh, required. So um, um, go ahead and get started in the course. Okay, good luck. Bye.